Are you considering studying in the UK as a foreign student? Think again. The UK Home Secretary, Suela Breverman, plans to kick international students out of the UK if they don't have a sponsored job within six months of completing their studies. This means that if you don't secure a right job after graduation, you could find yourself deported. This is a major blow to the UK's attractiveness for international students planning to study there. Don't let this happen to you. Tune in to my video to learn more about this disturbing proposal and what you could do to protect yourself. Don't miss out on the crucial information. Subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I'm David and I'm here to provide you with all the essential travel and study tips you need. Whether you are planning a gap year, studying abroad, or just looking for some travel inspiration, you have come to the right place. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and let's dive into some great content. Here in the Times, we have a story of uh, Suwala Breverman, which is the Home Secretary of the UK, and her proposal to reduce the time foreign students can stay in the UK. I am telling you, if you are currently studying or plan to study for your postgraduate, master's or PhD, you better wise up and start looking for alternatives because study in the UK may not lead to immigration. You may ask, but David, why are you talking like this? The UK is a country with a sound educational pedigree, with top-notch heritage in terms of research, methodology, blah, 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 blah. Now, education pedigree will go chop or now research methodology. If you like, get distinction and all is. It's not worth it if you cannot stay back and work with your degree. What value is UK education if you cannot find a good job with your certificate in the UK? Do you know what students pass through to raise £15,000 to £20,000 to study in the UK? Some students borrow money at a high interest rate, while some parents have to sell assets like cars and houses to fund their children's studies abroad. You know what the economy is saying now. And after spending all those big, big money, and now you want to chase these students away with just only certificate to show. This is rubbish. This is arrant nonsense. UK Home Secretary Suela Breverman wants these parents and students not to get a return on their investment. You know the irony? Suela Breverman herself is of Indian descent. She's not Britico, just like the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Her parents immigrated to the UK in the 60s. You see these people? What right do you have to tell me not to emigrate to the UK? You are not originally from the UK. Obviously, the right to emigrate to a particular country is determined by that country's immigration laws and regulations, which can vary depending on factors such as citizenship, job skills, and family ties. The truth is, it is ultimately up to the UK government to decide who they allow to enter, who they allow to stay in their country, who they allow to stay back after to study. Studying in the UK is supposed to be an investment. People are looking for better life. But the way I'm saying it now, studying in the UK don't turn MMM. MMM is back again! Hey. Study in the UK is now looking like cryptocurrency. The value don't go down. Deja vu. How many people remember this woman, Theresa May? She was the UK Home Secretary before she later became Prime Minister. During her tenure, both as Home Secretary and as Prime Minister, she blocked immigration of a small thing of students so far. In 2015, the same thing happened again. You see, foreign college students will be banned from working and forced to leave the UK when their courses end. So what happened? Let me tell you, many students opted to study elsewhere, like Canada, the US, Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, all the English-speaking countries received a significant increase in the number of international student applications. So, the UK became jealous, seeing all their potential students going elsewhere to study. So then, when Theresa May left office and Boris Johnson became prime minister, they lifted the restriction and reinstated the two-year post-study visa, which we are enjoying today. Long story short, 
I feel oh, my own opinion, this is all a scam. The UK does not have your interest as a foreign student at heart. Trust me, I am telling you. Now, not even up to three years later, they want to reverse the two years post study visa. Why? Why? It is deja vu. The more you look, the less you see. We have already seen this play out before. We experienced it in 2013 and in 2014. If you think it's a lie, ask anybody who studied in the UK between 2011 to 2019. They will tell you how immigration was chasing people around, how people had to go back home with only certificates. Trust me, ask anybody. Now, current estimates claim that over 600,000 international students are currently studying in the UK. Please, help me multiply 600,000 students by an average school fees of £15,000. You are getting £9 billion yearly for tuition fees alone. Not to talk of living expenses, accommodation, shopping, buying food, buying books, electronics, paying taxes, all the bobo air of UK life. Many students also work part-time and pay taxes. Some even work full-time, pay national insurance. They help the UK economy for crying out loud. These students, they contribute to the UK economy in diverse ways that I cannot even mention in this video. This is one of the reasons why when the figures were reduced, they had to reinstate the two-year post-study visa. Ah, the UK economy felt it now when they removed the two years post-study visa. They had to reinstate it. It seems the UK government want to eat their cake and have it. They enjoy international students spending money in their country, boosting the economy. But when they graduate, they can't wait to send you back home. This is not fair. I mean, come on. These people, they earned this money. They did not steal it. My prediction for the future. I believe that it's likely we'll see a reduction in the post-study visa tenor either to six months or one year, as a way to curb any potential abuse of the system. Additionally, it is also possible that they may remove the dependent visa route, as this has been identified as potential area of abuse by some people in the UK government. Generally speaking, they will make it harder for prospective students to study in peace and get good jobs after their schooling. So what do you do as an international student or prospective international student planning to study in the UK? My advice, have a plan B. Have a plan B. Don't let your dreams of studying in the UK be shattered by the proposed changes to the graduate visa route. As an international student, it's crucial that you have a plan B in place. So take the time to research other options Explore other countries that may offer a better return on your investment. Remember, your education is an investment in your future. Don't let it go to waste. Click on the link in the description to watch our video on Jackpa, the struggle of Nigerian students in the UK. For more information on having a plan B, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more valuable tips and information on studying abroad. Within one month, we have gotten 51 subscribers. Oshay, I just want to thank everyone that has liked, shared, subscribed to my channel. May God reward you richly in Jesus' name. Amen. See you.